Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off in the middle of a war against the Byzantines. Or rather, the Byzantine Revolt, to be exact. I'm hoping that this war doesn't drag on for too much longer, but this guy's got his troops in Constantinople, which is... Well, not that far, but we don't have boats, so we'll have to trek our way through if we want to tussle with him. Yeah, I'm hoping that he just capitulates, though. But, um, we'll see. Something I discovered in between episodes that I want to share is this. The Gothic culture. I have never seen this before. Ever. I mean, the Visigothic culture exists, but not the Gothic culture. Man, that would have been perfect for our... What's it, um, Ballad of the Gothic Muslim, instead of the Ballad of the Visigothic Muslim, but, oh well, that's fine. That was many, many moons ago. Mm, and I think that was around the time when Monks and Mystics came out? I do seem to recall playing around with Satanism back then, but, uh, yeah, I don't remember. So, we were not able to take the entirety of Nenezia in our uh, last episode. I'm not exactly sure who or what to blame, but, um, yeah, we were unsuccessful in that endeavor. But that's fine. So we're currently a little broke, so we can't really make these uh, new duchy titles anymore. I think it's because we've kind of shifted our focus from somewhat um, feudal and uh, tribal dudes to a whole bunch of, well, broke tribal dudes, I guess. Yeah, I think once we tussle with the Horse Lords again, maybe we'll see our uh, economy flourish again. But we'll see. Now, I'm assuming the Byzantines aren't willing to meet us, are they? So maybe we want to start marching into their territory now. Yeah, I suppose. Sure. Can I ransom some more people? No? That's it? Okay. Mm, still a little bit of a... Nomad agitation here, but we can deal with that by giving them a weaponsmith, I guess? What do you need? Weaponsmith? You? Weaponsmith and... Sure. Why not? Go for it. There you go. Uh, and last one, I think. Okay, cool. So, we'll let that happen. And we seem to have... A new revolt. Great. Um, Vassals, can you go deal with that for me, please? Because I'd really rather not uh, waste my own manpower on that, thanks. In the meantime, I guess we might as well get the rest of Mezen here. Sure. Uh, and I think we might also want to start a war, war with this guy soon. Yeah, if we can take um, that one and then take the other one later? That'd be perfect. After he snuffs it, of course. So, try to stay alive until we've uh, won this war against you, sir. Alright, I know it's gonna be difficult, but um, do your best, and I believe in you. Right. So... Okay, he doesn't quite hate me enough yet. But now he's got food poisoning. Fantastic. Alright, pay for some more ransoms, please. Three more characters for 90 buckaronis. So what, 30 buckaronis a pop, I would assume? Or somewhere around those uh, numbers? Right, sir, please don't die. Uh, so we also found the Yabgumak dude who's got the exit Perun. Now, he does have some siblings and whatnot, but... Um, I'm hoping that his bloodline just dies off. Oh, you're married. Unfortunate. I could kill your uh, sister, though. Just for shits and giggles. Mm, we'll just let her die in her dungeons, I think. And you're someone's concubine. Gotcha. Well, he doesn't have any children of his own, so I think when he dies, assuming that this doesn't get destroyed, we should be able to inherit it, I think. Hopefully. And I also found the guy who's got the Exe Perkunas. And I think I'll bring him into our court as well, just for shits and giggles. There you go. Mmm... Five living members in his family, including him, so... Interesting. Alright. Four more characters for 56. Go for it. More ransoms, please. Because I'm in dire straits right now in terms of, um... Our finances. 
maybe not dire straits, but not great straits, at least. Oh, thank you. Um, let's have you guys go deal with that nonsense. And the Byzantine Revolt. Still in Constantinople. Well, thankfully, it takes about 50 million years to siege down Constantinople, so... Yeah, I think they're most likely going to be there for a little while. I would assume it, at least. Alright, we're almost there. Just hold off a little bit longer. Please. Please don't die sometime soon. I beg of you. Sir, don't you dare. Don't even think about dying, alright? We're almost there. We've almost got your territory. And also, maybe your family. Um, is your heir where you are? He is, so we might be able to capture him. So, once we can, we should most likely just um, end the war immediately. Yeah. Do you want to just end it now? That's what I thought. Alright, fine. I'll accept your terms of surrender. And our plot to assassinate the Kagan is underway. Sure. Uh, what kind of plot power are, you, are we looking at here, by the way? Uh, 172, not bad, I guess. Mm, and since you're done with that, I guess go back up there and we'll try to get the rest of Mezen. And also we'll attack you, sir. Because you're not actually... Oh! Turns out we have a truce with this guy. Unacceptable. Uh, whoa! Kazarian Revolt! Fantastic! We need to take advantage of this for sure. Go for cert. And prestige troops, hopefully you can get there... Um, before this war is inconclusive again. Fantastic. Thank you for not dying so soon. I do appreciate it. See? Team effort. We got there, dude. It's all good. It's all good. Um... Who do we want to install here? Probably not her. She's... Then again, she does actually have some children, so... They should be able to inherit. Alright. I'm gonna give you... That one. Enjoy. Mm, and we need to attack him for the rest of it. Sure. Why not? Ah, there we are. Finally. Can I ransom your children? Your very, very many children? Um... How about this one? 74 buckaronis. Alright, then... I'm gonna send you a gift. Now you can pay for the ransom. There you go. And, uh... Why would we avoid going into Kangli? Just... Go through it, rather than going through neutral territory, man. What is wrong with you? Um, do we have issues with factions? Not really, so let's not worry about that right now. Oh no, Kazaria, oh. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yes! Oh, fantastic. Uh, sure, I guess we'll just go for cert. Mmm. Well, I guess either way we would have ended up with a truce with this guy, so it's all good, I suppose. Thank you. And... oh! Is that already being sieged down? Or do I need to call my vassals again? Do you want to just end this? Or are you actually interested in fighting me? You're moving in the opposite direction. Hello? Um, the Slavic Union is north of you? Good grief, man. Unbelievable. I thought I was bad at reading maps. Mmm, 99% war score. Have we captured his heir? We have. Alright, never let him out of your sight. His name is... Karadak Kabar. Gotcha. And I think we just imprisoned him. Karadak Kabar. That dude. Never let him out. Ah, he's the only one that can ransom. Oh, man. It's very tempting, not gonna lie. Um, you know what, though? I think as long as we attack his uh, dudes, yeah, we should still be able to get 100% uh, war score, I think. All right, then we'll just ransom this guy. Sure. And that puts our war score at 88%. Once we take this over, that should be murder she wrote. Or all she wrote. Or some other um, idiom, I guess. Mm. And that's all Kazari has left? The bit of Azov? Wow. How the mighty have fallen. And now there's a Bashkir revolt. 
The only part that we need is Actobe. Um, I don't know if that's really worth it then. No. All right. Can I ransom your children by any chance? No. What about this girl? Yes? Uh, don't let his air out, but sure. I guess we'll ransom at least one child, because that's really all he can afford. I don't know who you are, and of course you're a filthy heretic, so as soon as you're uh, 16 years old, you're going to be kicked out. Little, um, you know, spoiler alert. Who? Don't care. Of the wrong religion, so she's fucked. Mm, and we're at 72%. Yeah, I think the Byzantine Revolt might just uh, capitulate. I don't think they're interested in uh, staying in this fight, or even participating in this fight. Siege that down, 99%. And we've captured your siblings. Would you like to pay for their ransom? Um, if I were to ransom, that's it, 10 ducats? Fine, what about this guy? Same kid. This guy? 10? This girl? 10? What? How dare you, sir? How dare you? Unbelievable. Wow. He's not willing to pay for uh, basically anyone's ransom. Jerk. Fine, be that way. Ass hair. Alright, cert. Uh, let's give this away to... Hoomst. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We are back up to 762 buckroni, so... I guess. Oh, come on. Uh, I suppose I don't need to be that picky with my, um, you know, vassals here, but still. Alright, Bolgar, anytime you want to kick the bucket, or bite the dust, or, you know, bite the bucket, whichever one, any of those combinations, I will be happy to oblige. Mm, then I guess maybe for now, perhaps we'll let the wars that we have going on end. Oh! The Byzantines are finally making an appearance. Fantastic. And then... Let's have the Prestige Troops go up north, since we don't need to worry about them uh, losing their heads to attrition and all that shit. Yeah, and we'll just continue expanding up north. But... I think after we've taken the rest of Mezen, we might want to calm our tits a little bit, because we might want to do some raiding, so that we can get some more money. Yeah, I'm making no progress towards, um, getting enough money to, uh, switch out from being, a uh, tribal. Your diviner has been discovered charging money for various religious favors, putting the gold in her own pocket. Hmm, now we could potentially arrest her and take all of her money. But before I do that, I want to see if maybe we can find replacement. You're not the right religion. Now, that being said, we could bring her in. Hmm. What about this lady? The nun. We could bring her in, too. And she's only 27 years old. Wow. She is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's bring her in for sure. Um. Yeah, I mean, you've served our house faithfully, but, you know. Sorry, miss. Get the hell out of here. Enjoy. Just be glad I didn't do anything worse to you. Like, I don't know. Execute you, for example. Alright, court chaplain seat will be empty for now. And you're finally paying for your ransoms. Good. But I'm assuming we only got like a few buckaronis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so this could be somewhat problematic. Um... We might want to... Alright, miss. Please come to my court. Thank you. We might want to send in our domain troops to uh, deal with that nonsense. Because once we start losing wars, we're going to start uh, seeing our war score plummet. Which is obviously not great. So if you guys could maybe get your shit together and... Um, form one glorious hole. You know... That would essentially solve a lot of our problems. So I don't have to go deal with that nonsense myself, but apparently not. Wow. 
they don't seem to understand the concept of um, grouping up together. All right, well, in any case, you are new, my new uh, diviner, so let's have you build zeal. Yeah, because I'm still kind of struggling with uh, prestige, or piety, rather. And do let me know when you bite the bucket, sir. Because I don't think we need to antagonize anyone else, do we? We might want to go for a till. Um, I don't know how much of a plot power we can get out of this situation. Dude's got a lot of people in his court, though. Eh, maybe for now we'll just hold off. Sure. Okay, so let's send our troops down there and hopefully we can get the uh, war with the Byzantines done sooner rather than later. Because I'm not comfortable letting the um, revolt run for any any length of time, honestly. Because those can just um, fucking, uh, you know, evaporate in a second. And I think we might also want to go to war with uh, what is actually Kazaria. De facto Kazaria, not the original Kazaria. Yeah, because we need that for Azov. And then we can attack Bukaki? Um, well, not right now. Wait, when does our truce expire? In a couple of years. Okay, well, I can wait a couple of years. Sure. Then let's say I have you guys go deal with this nonsense up here. And I'm no longer deceitful. Well, that's actually a little unfortunate because the higher my um, intrigue, the, uh, um, if my intrigue is at a certain level, I believe I can... Um, basically force people into um, dueling me, even if they don't want to. Alright. A couple more places to give away. Oh. I'm assuming we don't have anyone of uh, import or interest. Alright, so I know the capital of Mezen is not actually Mezen, but rather Snopa. Alright, Miss, you can take the county of Snopa. Enjoy. And Yaroslava, you can take Kanin. Fantastic. Uh, and I think I'll actually make some of these duchy titles now. So, Sarkel... Wait, did I not ask this guy to capitulate? Oops. The fuck am I doing? Why did I... I could've... Huh. Alright, well, I guess I made a bit of a boo-boo here. But let's build the, um, Fort and Don Portage before we... Go back into his territory. Oh, God, what have I done? I can't believe I've done this. To myself, no less. Ugh. Good grief. And, of course, now that they're without land, they're refusing to pay for the uh, ransom of their children. Wow. Very nice. Good parenting there, dudes. Alright, um... But, yeah, let's make these idols and give some of them away. So, perm. Yes, thank you. And... wait, weren't you content at one point? I could have sworn, I thought you were content. Wow. Unbelievable. Alright, uh... What's the other place? Zyrene or something? So we need to make cargo pole as well as... oh, this place. I see. Let's hold off on that for now. We'll make Mezen though. And... right up your poopa. Fantastic. Who can be in prison? This guy? He's trying to assass- or kill his own wife or what? I don't fucking know. Can I execute you? I cannot. I could banish you, but, um... I'd rather not. No. Ah, shoot. Alright, let's try to get the, uh, war against the Byzantine Empire done first, then. Yeah... Dang, Nabbit. I should've just, uh, cap let them, um, capitulate. I guess I- somehow neglected to do that. Which, of course, is not really a surprise, considering it's me we're talking about. I'm sorry. Why the fuck do you think I care about your life? Oh, it's because we're antagonizing this guy, that's why. So he's marked as a special interest, and anyone of his family who dies in my dungeons, etc., etc., will be notified. Gotcha. Whoa, genius kid. Where the fuck did you come from? 95%? Alright, um... Did that fight actually count? I guess it did. Interesting. I'd rather you not be ambitious, kid. You wanna just, uh, peace out? No? Alright. 
fine. I guess I'll have to uh, fight your vassal's troops then. Because fighting Serbia was not, in fact, enough. Sure, why not? Alright, you've taken back Theodosia. I don't think so, numbnuts. I don't fucking think so. And now, you must die. Um, should I be kind? I guess I will. Sure. But that just further reduces my entry. Oh, shoot, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know what I can do, though? Is do some warrior training. Great, and also, let's inspire meliorism. And I think I'll go with... Hmm, can I please get Intrigue? I got Learning instead. Great! Thanks, RNG! Thanks, really appreciate it. Fantastic. And more prisoners? Yes, but not many. And I'm assuming we're gonna be stuck at 99% until... Damn it. Show yourself, Byzantines. Damn it. You guys are holding me up here. I mean, I'm struggling enough as it is what well, with my um, inability to uh, remember shit and uh, focus. So if you could help me out by just, you know, capitulating, that'd be great. Ugh, I knew it. Absolutely knew it. All right, um, let's go with either one of these because they don't actually do anything, I don't think. I'm not sure if that's the intention. I don't think so. Um, but I found that whenever you take the option to, um, you know, either become fat or thin or whatever, or malnourished, it never actually takes effect. At least so far. I'm not entirely sure if that's, um, correct or not, though. Come on, Byzantine uh, Revolt. Come on, just give up. Just do it for me. Please? Don't be such a bitch. Just give up. Unless you actually have troops to uh, fight me with. Which you obviously do not. Alright, so... We could potentially squeeze out a little bit more money from this guy, but... Mm, most likely not, so... I'd say let's just end this war now. Thank you. Alright, Don Portage. Let's start with the war camp. And... We'll give it away to... Oof. Yeah. That's always going to be a problem for us, isn't it? Alright, miss. Um, unfortunately, you are content. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Don Portage is yours. Sweet. So the Duchy of Sarkel will make and... Wow! Alright, she's got a lot of problems, so she might actually die sometime soon. That's... Kind of fine with me, actually. Um, and still no new lord with uh, these guys. All right, so at this point, the Byzantine Empire is kind of uh, holding me back, unfortunately, because now we can't do any um raiding and shit. Oh, did you guys die from the uh, attrition? I'm assuming you did. Oh no. How do we take this guy? We don't have any boats. Fuck. Um, maybe we try to replace him with someone of the Russian, um, what's it, uh, Russian uh, culture or perhaps of our religion and then maybe we try to offer vassalization? Or, oh, I didn't realize that this guy had the entire duchy. Oh, fantastic. All right, go for it, kids. Yeah, we might not even need to siege down his uh, thing up there. Sure. And once we're done with that, we'll move on to Pechora. And that should be all of Nezia. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Just go for it. Sure. Uh, and I think we should have, should have enough troops to be able to deal with them. Hopefully. Maybe we can actually capture the dude himself. Wait, am I actually fighting dudes, or... No, I'm not fighting dudes. Although, we might end up fighting dudes. You know what? No. Put me up here. Sure. Go for it, kids. Wait, are you not leading your troops there anymore? No, he's moved on. What a douche. What a sweaty douche. And Serbia? You've fallen for my trap. You fool! 
You zozo. Eat shit. You dingus. There you go. Um, but I'm assuming... Yeah, I didn't think we would, um... End up getting any, uh, amount of war score, but... Eh, worth a try, I guess. Maybe we can get a stack pipe? I don't know who you are. Fuck off, please. And? Oh! Wow, we actually did get, a uh, war score from that. Fascinating. Alright, cool. Byzantine Revolt is done and dusted. And now we can... Oh, that's what it was. I was like, what the fuck? Is this land diseased? No, turns out... How come I've never seen this before? I mean, I see these, and then I see... Oh, I guess that's just the, um... Kind of upgraded version of that, maybe. Yeah, I've never seen, like, the, uh... Hovel and stuff before. I mean, I've seen, you know, these hovels, but... I guess they're not really hovels, are they? These are more hovels than these things. Whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself. Uh, Cherson is the capital of Cherson. And thankfully we have a content lady here. Um, but we... Oh no. The Queen of Crimea has snuffed it. Unfortunate. Alright, well, Rostislavo I'm sure would be great, but um, we're gonna go with Alexander for the county of Cherson. Thank you. And we need someone new for Theodosia. All right, miss. Theodosia is yours. Enjoy. And the Duchy of Cherson will have to usurp once they're no longer at war. And the Byzantine Revolt is about to win. Holy crap, holy perfect timing for us. Any laws to change? No, I don't think so. At least not until we turn feudal. Um, which is still kind of up in the air, by the way. Not entirely sure if I should. I mean, at this point, we're kind of close to the... Getting close to the end of the campaign, so I don't know if it's really worth it. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. 54%. Um, let me know when I've kidnapped your children. And you're trying to kill Olga. Why? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so, um, unfortunately... Them having more prestige does not... Mmm... Right, right, I forget that's how uh, open uh, succession works. It's not like uh, the nomads succession where the more prestige you have, the um, the higher up you are in, in uh, ranking in terms of getting the title and shit. So... That means that um, at a certain point we... I guess, yeah, because I guess it just defaults to being a primogeniture. Um... Unless you uh, landed the child. So I guess we'll just have to land the Winnow when it feels like it's kind of coming close to our uh, the end of our days, I suppose. Alright, seize that down. And can we ransom your children? Hudak is your heir, so maybe I can ransom your other child? Yes, we might be able to ransom a couple of them. So we'll do that, and then we'll uh, end the war with this guy. Actually, why don't you go for that one so that we can have a northern stack go for the other one? Sure. And have you paid for the ransom of your children? Just about. There you go. Well, we could squeeze... Uh, nah, we can't. It's fine. Fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna declare a conquest war against you too, sir. Merry Christmas. Mm, and we need three people. Zavarot. Capital is Zavarot. Really? Alright. Oof. Getting to be uh, somewhat broke again. Not surprising to anyone, of course. Because of my uh, terrible spending habits. Both in-game and in real life. I buy the most useless garbage ever. Oh, I should not be allowed to uh, shop online. Anyways, um, I'm gonna give you the duchy of that place. And I realize how disgustingly over the uh, vast limit I am. So I guess I could have uh, just not had the council power in place to increase my vassal cap, but eh, fuck it, whatever. I'm hoping that we can actually... Well... Simus is 54 years old. I don't know if we'll necessarily be able to uh, finish the campaign as her. 
but we may get very close, so I'm not too, too concerned. And I believe we're worshipping Velish, right? So far, I don't think we've gotten any events um, regarding the worship of Velish, though. Or is it Velis? I don't really know how to um say it, but sure. Two care Whoa! Holy crap, wait. Who's ransomable right now? Who are these two characters that we can ransom for? Oh! Oh, Horse Lord. I see. And you can afford the ransom of one of them. Alright, um, sure. We might as well squeeze him for all he's got. And let me just uh, win these two wars before we end the episode. Wow, holy crap. All these children are getting some uh, premier education in the uh, dungeons, it turns out. At least I think so. Might not be. Heir to the chiefdom of whatchamacallit? Would you be willing to pay for the ransom of your heir that you cannot afford? Nope, then he dies. Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, I killed your heir. Oh, uh, you sad now? It's okay. Don't cry. Dry your eye and try. Sure. Is he my rival yet? Not quite. That's fine. Siege that down. Thank you. 100%. And we could ransom your... That's it. 10 ducats. I get 10 ducats for... Uh, well, it's, I guess because he's not the heir. Fuck it. Mm, why don't we siege this down? Sure. Actually, no, we're going to be over the supply limit, so I'm just going to end the war now. That's fine. Sweet. So that's the entirety of uh, Nanetia. So that leaves us with Perm, Volga, Bulgaria, Kazaria, and Nalania. Only four more kingdoms to go. All right, well, we have a significant chunk of Kazaria. Alania, we haven't made any uh, progress into yet, but we should be able to in our next episode, I think. Um, we'll also go to war with this guy for Itil, and maybe maybe we can force a succession with the Ashina here. Now, this guy, his health is, well, it's still fairly high. Uh, but we need to attack him for Bandia. And then also this little bit here. Very annoying. But yeah, I think Bashkiria is going to be the biggest problem for us. So what we could do is try to take the rest of Perm by um, swallowing these guys up a little bit. Yeah. But that still leaves us with three duchies held by Bashkiria still. Hmm. Maybe we can try to assassinate this guy and his successors over and over again until perhaps we see uh, the nomad um, instability take place, possibly? I don't know. Um, and we're in a bit, a bit of a rare moment in um, history when we are not in a war. So maybe we should actually turn our attention towards um, getting some more prisoners and thus more money. I think the Catholics haven't been raided in quite some time, so maybe we should go visit them. Yep. I'm sure he'll, uh... He's, uh... I was gonna say that he's gonna see this coming, but, um... I can't really format the joke in a uh, way that it would kind of work in this instance. <laughs> so, let's just say... Let's just pretend that I made some hilarious joke about uh, this guy not seeing it coming. Oh, I guess he won't see this coming. Oh, man. <laughs> I fucked that up royally, didn't I? <laughs> well, in any case, um, I'll try to get these counties away in between episodes. Hopefully we can find some people without having to resort to uh, summoning them and wasting our money. So we might need to resort to a people of the wrong culture. But that's fine. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!